now we have a huge gap so those who have the company share they are owners so the end from annual general meeting they decide their right to manage the organization by the managers and managers run the company to increase the wealth of owners isn't it isn't it amazing right so managers work for the company to increase the shareholder wealth or owner wealth of the company and owners are not allowed to come inside the company so if i have 500 shares of a company so can i go to the company and knock the door and can say that okay look i am the owner here and you need to work like that and they they would say that they will kick you out that's it because manage uh, you know company is run by the managers owned by the shareholders completely different two concepts if you are the owner you have only right to transfer the shares to sell the shares or receive the dividend that's it if you want something you go to the annual general meeting and raise the hand and do some you know some suggestions and we go for resolution all right guys so that's why we need smart people who work in the organizations for us if we are the shareholders so that they can increase our wealth but if they run the business according to their own mindset according to their you know believe that we should make our profits rather than we should work for ourselves rather than for the company's owner and there is a problem right because if, if i'm working in the organizations so i will be working for my own salary my own benefits rather than the shareholder or the owner's benefits so here is a mismatch we call this agency conflict but we will talk about in our coming lectures so don't get confused here so that's why the managers need it so that they can run the company through the people by the people with the people efficiently and effectively now characteristics of the organization so first of all distinct purpose the organization is set up with a distinct purpose okay there would be a structure and there would be a people to manage so like i said must be overall goal in the mind there would be a structure top level middle level first line managers and to whom you are working with with the people by the people and to the people all right so why managers are important because organizations need their managerial skills and ability now more than ever that is debatable managers are critical to getting things done and the managers do matter to the organizations if we just eliminate the managers from the organization what will happen if there's something some new situation come workers they won't be able to handle it and there will be a chaos nothing else and it will be yeah, you can say that the organization would no longer survive plus managers have some critical skills and abilities to manage the situation they are more informed regarding what's going on in the market what will happen how much you know basically these are the doctors for the organization so that you know they want to pinpoint where there is you know a disturbance we need to tackle that and managing people is very hard because human behavior in the same situations act differently it's not like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 if somebody you know call my 
family name i would be angry on the same situation in some other time somebody calls my family name i would be happy so managing people are the most difficult part so they know that how they can get the things done with the people through the people right using different technology latest technology using the top level management instructions in effectively communicating this to the lower level managers or to the workers to get things done with overall goal in mind organizational goal in mind right guys now the question arises the natural question sir i am just a bachelor student i am doing degrees in for example chemistry international business and all the stuff how this subject management is related to me why this is important for me to learn i'm not opening a company and floating the shares going to sccp registering it for shares and all the stuff it takes a lot of time but why this course is included in my bachelor's degree okay so i don't want to go to the business i want to work for some company and that's it i would be a worker over there or a manager over there whatsoever there's nothing to do with me why i'm wasting time or sir uh, you know i want to do my phd or i want to continue my studies so why this course is important for me any comment on that either way if you're an employee you will have a manager okay anyone else even if you are not even doing the job even then this subject is related to you even in the household even in you are if, even if you are you know a non working husband or non working <clears throat> uh, you know housewife or if even if you are now a kid it is important for you to learn the psychology of management why because directly or indirectly you are performing managerial role or somebody else is performing the roles of management on you right directly or indirectly you are affected by these so it it is must for you to understand whether you are a science student whether you are a business student if you are a business student then it is a must for you even if you are working for the organization as a, as a worker or as an employee it is then very important for you because you don't want to work your whole life on the same position with the same role of course you want to grow when you want to grow you want to get some managerial skills so that you want to you can promote to the upper level or if you want to start your own business it is very important for you it's crucial for you to understand all these skills because when you start the company you have the idea but if you don't know how to convey or how to getting things done you cannot succeed this is the importance of this subject right so does manager make a difference yes it does so half of the us adult have left their job to get away from bad manager if you are working in the organization so half of the workers they left the jobs on annual basis or you know uh, if they didn't find the manager good to them they leave and nowadays it is very costly the most expensive part in an organization is 
retain the employee. And despite, you know, if you are a marketing manager, you will work for this company as a marketing manager. For example, you work in a fashion industry as a marketing manager. You can also work in an automobile industry as a marketing manager. So you're performing the same role, but why you left the fashion industry? Half of the US workers, why US? Because this material that we are discussing here is US centric. So I'm just making a point here. If you talk about the Chinese, every Chinese, they want to change their job after the new year, Chinese new year. So if you wanna, if you talk to them, why? And most of the time, this is because of the manager. It's all over the world, not just in America, all over the world. So over three, 300 billion each year cost of the managers who are not engaged, which means the cost of hiring people or because you know sometimes the employee they deliberately resign when the project is going to be you know completed or something so delayed costs and all the stuff cost to the US companies 300 billion dollar each year so if you have the good managing quality managerial quality you can reduce the cost and you can increase employee retention it's a huge cost it's a huge task for the hr manager to find the person who is good to this role right and because of the bad manager we lost a good employee right so what is management which involves coordinating and overseeing the work activities of others so that their activities are completed efficiently and effectively. It is a function performed by the manager, right? It's not like a manager is a manager. He also needs to perform his fatherly duties, his, you know, uh, parental duties as a duty as a son, when it is in company a manager must provide the responsibilities of management and we talked about who is manager coordinating and overseeing the activities of getting things done by others efficiently effectively now let's just talk about efficiency efficiency means doing things right or you can say that with the minimum input, you get maximum output. Sorry about my handwriting. It's not that bad. It, it's bad, of course. It's bad. Minimum input, maximum output. When we talk about the, the definition of managers, getting things done, getting things done effectively, uh, sorry, efficiently, then it means that getting the most output from the least amount of input. All right? That's what we mean by the efficiency. And what is effectiveness? Minimum input maximum output that will benefit not your pockets rather organization which means doing the right things so if you over pressurize a worker he will you know work one day or two day with his best efficiency and that's it and the next day he may be the sick he got sick leaves or something then who is going to suffer your efficiency is going to suffer when your efficiency is going to suffer you cannot complete that project